goal. A plan. Hello, ladies. We are going to be playing a ladies' night out. That means women only. This is a woman only space. So you can feel safe. We'll start off with Priestess of the Moon. We'll get some archers. Let's see. Samphion has requested. Ladies Night Elf. Four versus four. Night Elf. Only girl units and heroes. Warden is also a female hero. Hey! I could risk building the um, Demon Hunter to get the female version, but there's no guarantee. I can't guarantee it. Sometimes it comes out of male, so I probably better not risk that. No animals. So I can't use huntresses. And bears are obviously blokes. Wisps are ghosts, so no bamboozle there. Yeah, these wisps are all female, apparently. So we're safe building those. It's going to be strange, though, getting a warden after a priestess of the moon. That is something you don't normally do. Quite um, unsynergistic heroes, I would say, if that is a correct term, because I couldn't think of another word for it. That's like a more complicated way to say that they don't particularly go together. Just archers. Archers, dryads would be fine. You might make the argument that a dryad is an animal, but I think for argument's sake, we'll pretty much assume that they're not animals. Don't think a chimera is a male or a female. I don't know what a chimera is. And fairy dragons? I mean, are they male or female? We don't know. So it's basically archers and dryads. Aren't dryads half animals? I mean, if you want, Tyrol, if you want to hijack this request, then yes, I can just do only archers. Sure, why not? Tyrell's gone and limited us down to one art unit type. So you can thank him for that later. I love that they uh, updated this game so that now I get lots of lag spikes whilst playing it. And my frame rate drops like crazy. It really makes it fun to play. Just a, just a little bit of sarcasm there. We'll tech up. And just keep pumping out the archers and creep. This is a cool map because there's a lot I can creep. I kind of want to tech up so I can get the second hero. Because I'm going to be able to probably get level 5 quite easy in this. Shim is both. One is male, one is female. Our ballista's female. I don't know. I really don't know. Gender neutral, maybe. We may as well get a hunter's hall. For higher quality archers. Since we know we're only going to basically be building archers, we can just upgrade those. We are poised to strike on your mark. We must act. Trust in my command. I do apologize for the lag spikes, but there's really nothing I can do about it. It's just the latest patches introduced that, so until Blizzard sort that out, which who knows if they ever will. I, I guess I'm just stuck with this now for the rest of the time I play Warcraft 3. Trust me, I don't like it any more than you do. We'll go full damage because girls are strong. The female of the species is more deadly than the male. Oh, hello, Mr. Trapper. How do you do? That ogre might decide to pop in at some point. That's the nice thing about the ogre magi is he will stay back, bloodlust and everything, and not actually move, so you don't actually have to fight him. Look at that wisp! That did a lovely little block then. I didn't even do that deliberately. You really can creep just almost anything with Priest of the Moon and Archers. I've almost teched up though, so we've got to save up a little bit for the Warden. Because you just abuse range. Range is so, so strong. In Warcraft 3. So, so strong. Keep those two hidden, because they'll attack straight away. And then we use one Archer. 
to block a few units when I get 425 gold. Just get a few hits and I'll drag them back over. So you do that. And then they'll come back over. Warden. And slow them down again a bit with one archer. Ooh, that's a nasty lightning shield. Oh my god! King of the high damage rolls! Look at him go! See, we're dealing with an alpha male here. Are we ladies going to stand for that? I don't know. going to take this up. Not really the best item, is it? For all the damage you took, but... We'll just go heal up now. Another moon juice. Agility and intelligence actually kind of suits the Warden, to be honest. I am the Iron. Don't know whether to go Fock. I'll go Fock because it looks like she's dancing more. Uh, I'll come over here. He might leave if he loses his hero. I can totally see him doing that. Average 4 versus 4 RT player. You may have defend, but I have the power of the uterus. So behold. We can still focus you down. Not invincible. This guy doesn't know how to move the rifles back there. Luckily, we're not fighting against two here, because this would definitely be much trickier with the defend footman against two. Heal me! Heal me! Man, these defending footmen are really uh, making things tricky, eh? Got to fill up the gold mine, otherwise I'm not valuing that. Get another production facility. Watch your hero, buddy. Watch your hero, buddy. This is like an ongoing epic saga. We will beat them eventually, but yeah, defending footmen are pretty good against range units. It just keeps going. Bad team. I guess they lost over there. Yeah, that didn't look good. What do you mean bad team? I mean, yeah, it is kind of a bad team, to be honest with you. But you guys were fighting versus... Oh, maybe they were fighting versus three over there, actually. Because I'm only fighting this one guy here. Who's keeping me busy. He's doing his job with his defensive footman. Were they fighting versus three? One, two, plus the panda, right? So maybe the panda's like, it's like a 2.5 or something. Oh yeah, no, look, yeah. It was technically free, so yeah, we were definitely behind this game. I think next game, it was fun though. We did what we could. We'll just have to hope that we got a slightly more even game. The footman guy, that he did well, actually, because that was his goal. It makes sense. It's like, he won't win against Micro. That's just what I'm doing. He might get an archer or two, but I can still beast through that because Micro can trump a lot of things in this game. However, his job really was just to keep me busy so I didn't help out the right-hand side. And he did that. He definitely did that. We can swap things over. Man, frame rate is really bad on this one. I've... By the way, this is totally a lie. I really want to know how they've programmed the FPS. But to me, 60 to 79 FPS in this game, if it says that, 
it basically means... Uh, well, it means whatever these guys are doing. I guess I can control the orc. If the other guy wants to control him, I'll see. Nope, never mind. I don't think I can be bothered to control everyone. So it's too early in the day. I've only just started playing 4 versus 4 RT. And we've already got like one super-sided, one-sided game. We've got levers. So probably going to get team killers in the next game. What was I even saying? I got distracted by that. I can't even remember what the heck I was even talking about. Oh yeah, the frame rate. Yeah, if it says like 79, it basically means 18. I can tell you that that is not 79 FPS. That is not, you are not convincing me that is 79 FPS, not by a long shot. Not even close. It feels like 18 frame rate, so I'm playing at like a massive disadvantage. I've got 144 hertz monitors, but I can only access 18 frame rate because the patch is scuffed and Blizzard are useless. Or should I say Microsoft are useless? Since we just have to blame Microsoft now these days. Why is my FPS oscillating so hard though? Because of the latest patch. It's the latest patch. It's whatever they did in the latest patch. Slap that through and now there's problems again. I've had this before though. It's not the first time they've done this. It's either the second or third time they've done this. But I remember it was either a year ago or two. But there was this Diablo-esque custom game that I was playing and even in single player I was getting these huge frame rate drops where it would spike every 1.5 seconds or something so this is nothing new this is just more of the same old you know what I might try and do so I'll switch up the build a little bit we can harass with the warden which is going to do basically next to nothing but whilst we're doing that we can tech up straight away and then put down like two inches of war or probably better yet maybe an inch a tree of life here and then once the warden's done being annoying to the enemy she comes back opens up expansion and then mass archers whilst taking up we'll see we'll see we'll see We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, see. If you put it about here, they have to travel too far to get to it, so I don't think they can do enough damage, even even if that aggroes. Which I'm not 100% sure if it does. It doesn't, because it hasn't aggroed so far. There you go. The more you know. Girls, they want to have fun. Ooh. Let's go Shadow Strike this time. Understood. Unlimited. Bang. Picking up a circlet on the way. I can pick up a circlet from here for double circlet. I just got to take a little bit of damage. She's already down 45 health. Any mouse steers in chat? Thank you, Toast, there for the sub. This is the likely expansion. Understood. Just so if we wrap spot. around here. Let the hunt begin. There Let we go. Investigate. I can taste their fear. And then Let off the we are. Go, girl, go. Get it done, girl. Just Get it done. Mm-hmm. Typical. This guy's clearing this freaking expansion. Well, if he's not taking it, then I'll just slap my tree there. Which one's the real blade master? Doesn't matter. I'll just go for you. Yeet! Are He's bloody gonna do it, mate. Of course, I get the worst luck, don't I? Of all the places, of all the people, he just like he could have crept here, here, or this one over here. Yeah, I will enjoy. It's almost like people try to do it deliberately or something. Because, like, if I play this map, like, nine nine more times, and I don't put a tree here, no one will go for this expansion. No one. This stays remains untouched. I guarantee. But the moment I put a tree or something, it's like some sort of beckoning call. Excuse me, Mr. Tinker. Now, 
I could kill him. He hasn't got sentry. So we just play the waiting game. Wow, look at the amount of resources I got just sitting here doing nothing. Maybe I can sneak through here. But the lumber mill is deceptively large. Yeah, look at that. Even though it looks like your hero can go through there, it can't. But the lumber mill is a big lad. You think I can't shadow strike that? You think I can't shadow strike that? I may as well kill a couple of things with the mana before I get killed. Because he's going to come back in a moment. Don't let me down, shadow strike. Don't let me down. No. Now this is why people go Priestess of the Moon. I've got I haven't got enough mana for him actually. Oh, oh, son of a bitch! Just it's got such a short range as well. All right, whatever. I need to get my hero back anyway. Get my hero back. Start pumping archers. Put the wisps onto the gold mine that we have now. We've got loads of lumber because we just left them for ages. And then priest of the moon, second hero. Upgrade, more archer, and then more upgrades. We can come back and get some money. Kill the zombies, the zombies. Off to a slower start though, that's for sure. I would have been like level 3 or something by now. As you can see from that first game I played, you can make so much quick progress with a Priest of the Moon a bunch of archers. Warden a lot slower. Might even get another Ancient of War. More Wisps. I'm supposed to be getting the Priest of the Moon though, so I'm getting a bit crazy. Cut that off, get Priest of the Moon, then do that. Going against... Drop the items. Soak up the juice. Only on the left. I can be bothered on the right. Then upgrades, and then find mobs to kill. Remember, put an archer in like a separate hotkey and just get ready to block. Although I, <laughs> I wasn't ready, apparently. Looks good enough, though. Because he'll probably get pissed off and come over in a second anyway. So you can always get away with that. Yeah, he's going to do it anyway. If you're worried that, you know, you really have to stop him from getting back, use, use the archer. Piss him off a little bit. And block like that. And you get lots of free attacks. Probably a boost of speed. I need to get a shredder, maybe. They're attacking at the top. Uh, they're down. You can always chop the trees here and then shift right click onto here and then up here. So you get your trees straight away when he's ready to bring it in. We can try to do this spot. Not the easiest. Mr. Dragon is kind of rude. <clears throat> Rinse and repeat. Remember the tricks of the trade. Keep your distance. And then you can get so much more value. Does take time though. Be easier if I didn't have terrible frame rate and lag though. Understood. 
He actually took the kill there. I didn't get the experience because the dragon has splash damage, so I should have focused. Oh god, this frame rate is killing me. It's just like constant spikes all the time. Little moves like I'm doing here, when you're fighting against something way above your pay grade, you need, you really need smooth gameplay. But Battle.net is Battle.net. You thought that was your screen? Nope. It's me, unfortunately. Well, it's the patch. I'm getting bored of doing this now, so let's just go. Go all in on the dragon. you got to spread them a little bit because he's splash. I can actually blink out of here and make sure the prisoner wing gets the hit. So she gets all the experience. Okay, girls. How are we doing? Got to get that night time because we're pretty... Actually, no, there's a heal. If you come around here, there's a free healing fountain here. My allies are doing all the hard work here. Like they basically won. I don't know how they won the game, but they've done some damage there. It's very cheap and easy to afford with an expansion like all these archers. Your building is complete. I am the iron right. The goddess agrees. We must act. I think we'll go to the middle because it's more interesting to create the middle, right? Before the game is over. So let's move. You got enough archers to basically kill anything. I forgot the dragon item, did I? Oh. I do tend to do that a lot these days. I guess I'm getting old. I'll go back for it. See if it was actually anything good. Orb of Darkness isn't particularly sexy. But whatever. Not really worth going back for. My allies over here are doing hard work. I'm not doing shit to help him. Because we're just faffing about in the middle, showing off the power of the woman. I'm a whammon! The power of hide compels you. Oh, look at that burst damage. I think we're strong enough. We could creep the rest of the stuff, but we just go and help out now, because... we got to feel a little sympathetic. I've got so many archers, I've got to find hotkeys for all of them. Look at them, there's millions of them. So many whammon. Why am I getting an upgrade for bears? Am I saying that a woman is a bear? Would a bear rather be with a woman? Would a woman rather be with a bear? Instead of a man? A bear? Instead of a man, she feels safer? We must act. Hello. I'm so confused. Can I help you? Trust in my if you don't understand the reference, look it up. Okay, let's do this. Flip a bunch of them up. One of them's got to be the real one, right? 
I'm a woman. There we go. Female too strong. Revenge. Get revenge on these peasants. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Samphian, for the request. 